In the city, where the ancient stones whisper tales of past and present, the barber's shears sing a melancholic tune. Snip snap, a rhythmic lament under his breath. Each lock of hair, a severed connection, falling like the hopes of a nation teetering on the brink. His mind, a woven tapestry of the day's gossip and the weighty silence of unspoken fears, drifts effortlessly to the soldier. The soldier, a lone figure marching through the labyrinthine streets, his footsteps a solemn drumbeat against the cobblestones. He carries the scent of gunpowder and distant lands, his eyes reflecting a mosaic of duty and a longing for a time when swords turn to plowshares. His thoughts, a whirlpool of orders and oaths, seamlessly merge with the waiter's delicate dance in a nearby cafe. This waiter, a maestro of trays and teacups, weaves through the tables with a grace born of necessity. His smile, a flickering candle in the dim light, masks the storm of contemplation brewing within. He overhears fragments of conversations, whispers of change, murmurs of resistance, as he pours another cup of Armenian coffee, its dark swirls mirroring the tumultuous horizon of the nation. And then, the narrative shifts, following the unseen threads of fate to a shadowed corner of the city, where a homeless woman sits, cradling memories in her warm hands. She is a silent witness to the echoes of a war that took everything, her home, her son. Her eyes, deep pools of loss and resilience, reflect the broken mosaic of a life once filled with the mundane and the sacred. Her presence, a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the cost of conflict, paints a poignant picture of a nation's sorrow and its undying hope for a future where no more is lost to the abyss.